Now we're going to right click on the clip tool and make variable from perimeter and we're going to choose output extent. This will create a new oval. Okay, we're going to open this, so double click the output extent. Just move things around a bit. Okay, and we're going to choose the New Zealand Coast NZTM shapefile. That will be our extent. Great. We're going to right mouse click on the clip tool again, make variable from perimeter. We're going to go to use input features. Okay. So by this stage you might need to make your window a bit bigger and just move things around a bit. Okay, so we're going to double click the Use Input Features to open it. And we're going to tick the Use Input Features for Clipping Geometry box. We're going to right mouse click on the Clip tool. I'm going to make variable from perimeter no data value. Okay. It's a bit more shuffling around. We're going to double click the no data value. We're going to set that to minus 9999. Okay. Right mouse click on the output raster data set and check add to display. We're going to validate the entire model and then we're going to run the model. Okay, and this one I chose to do just one bio layer because doing the whole lot was too slow. So once you've done that, you need to click raster to ASCII and the input file or input raster will be your changed bioclimbs. In my case, I just did the one. And you just need to save for your output file. Now this is where you want to change the color ramp and depending on what that bioclimb sort of stands for this could show temperature gradients or it could show uh, precipitation gradients.